Atlantic University ladies basketball team is coming off one of its worst years in the program's history. As ESPN 760's Herb Uzi reports, changes in the air in West Palm Beach. Coming out of college, coaching was the last thing Clarice Garcia had in her mind. After playing four years of hoops at Villanova, she had visions of working in media as a basketball analyst. But while she was studying for her master's at Seton Hall University, she stumbled onto her future. I had the opportunity after I graduated college to be a grad assistant for two years. And once I got into coaching in that capacity, I fell in love with it. Garcia's rise through the coaching ranks lasted just three years. In May, Division II Palm Beach Atlantic made the 25-year-old the youngest college head coach in the country, something Garcia is using to her advantage. I relate better with the kids. I appreciate their humor, and I, and I know I have a pretty good idea of what's going on um, in, in the pop culture world and entertainment. She understands where we're coming from, and she is, like, kind of fresh out of college, so she understands school is important and then life, too. Garcia's first task was building a staff. After tabbing former PBA player Christine Webb as one of her assistants, she stumbled into her next. Former WNBA player and Vanderbilt star Chantel Anderson. We met on in the Atlanta airport on a, our way to Morocco. We were both going there to uh, take part in some leadership through basketball camps. She had just gotten hired and she's like, hey, I haven't hired my staff yet. Want to coach? Anderson, who like Garcia never saw herself as a coach, agreed. Together, the three brought instant credibility to a program coming off a six-win season and in dire need of a culture change. Anything that comes out of their mouth is like you really can't question it because you know they just know what they're talking about just because you know they played at that level. With only seven players, Garcia and her staff will be challenged to manage the team's legs. But Garcia says the small number only makes for a very tight-knit group. Herb Busey for ESPN 760 on WPTV News Channel 5. If you have some spare...